It's Open House Thursday on your view. Welcome to the show. I am Morayo Afolabi Brown, as always. I never do this alone. I have the ladies. Hello. Hi, Hi. Morayo. How are you? Fine, thank you. Yeah, blinked. Yeah, yeah glowing. Yeah, just yeah, shining. Yeah, just You're praise, beautiful. Praise be to God. <laughs> praise be to God. <laughs> um, so today is um, Princess Modupe Ozolua's birthday. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so happy, happy birthday, birthday to her. And also, interestingly, it's been exactly a year since she's been on our show. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay, she came on yes. her birthday. Yes, yes she came on her right. birthday last year. So for me, Modupe is like, she's a role model for me because mm. she's also a humanitarian. I mean, even with all that she has, she's a humanitarian. She goes into rural areas to help with malnourished kids, mm. coming up with different ways to make sure that children in Nigeria and across Africa so I find her as a role model and we have kept in touch, you know. That's and now she's also the um, special assistant on CSO in the office of the deputy senate leader, oh, Omar wow. And good. she's looking at communities who are struggling with getting good water, you know, from their environment. Maybe Mariah would like to speak with her father on that. Mm -hmm. nice. So happy Fantastic. birthday, princess. Happy hey. birthday, babe. Happy birthday. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, yeah, I'm you? great. It's um, Africa Coaching Week. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yes, it is. Yes. And yes. today is World uh, Hel uh, Mental Health Day. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, the Coaching Week started in from the beginning of the week, Monday, is running through to Friday. And today, tomorrow, that's Thursday tomorrow, we're going to be uh, coaching. Uh, I, I happen to be one of the coaches nominated to coach people <laughs> nice. for free. So I'll be at the workstation in Maryland. There, there are two workstations. We have in Maryland, we have in Lekki. Mm -hmm. So if you have any issues, you need coaches. A lot of coaches will be available to Fantastic. attend to you. Well done. So I'm happy to be a life coach at this oh, time. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I, I, I have a shout out. Mm -hmm. This one, I don't, I can't overemphasize it um, my husband's elder brother okay. his name is williams odige i mm -hmm. call him sir willie mm -hmm. today he clocks 50. wow, wow. that's a huge wow. one that's, that's a my huge wow. one yeah. and i i feel very blessed with my in-laws i feel particularly blessed with him because we it, it, i don't see him as my in-law is like a big brother, you mm -hmm. know, and he's always saying, TMO speaks when he sees me. I, you know, <laughs> I have very supportive in-laws. Oh, I have yeah, very, very supportive in-laws all around. So happy birthday, sir. I wish you all the best. I Fantastic. pray that, you know, everything you desire would come to pass. Amen. And your children, you yeah. see your children Amen. do well. Fantastic. Good stuff. Are you, Mariah? I'm great. This color yes, looks great on you. As in, <laughs> <For real? Yes. laughs> Thank you. The celebration started yesterday. Mm. Uh, myself and Nima, I've always been, um, Judges uh, at the, for the debate, mm. and it was great. Uh, I think God knows what the school that won. Oh, I just lost it. But it was a public school. It was it the guy who really did a good job? Mm -hmm. Green Spring came second. Oh, wow, the that's two, nice very, oh yeah. So, but, but they were both good actually. Wow, really good. I guess they got destabilized when they now threw them questions, fresh oh. questions that they didn't prepare for. Mm. That destabilized wow. a bit, but at least we. I mean, it was good. And YK got them some amazing gifts. Like, they had like a sound system, the guitar, uh -oh. with a full amplifier. Well done. Each school got one. Wow. It was amazing. Like, Ten but schools I, I, in number. I know mm. that we don't give enough gifts mm. when we do this kind of event for Every children. Every year, YK ensures but they get I, the best. But with celebration, Laptops, YK ensures that. Tablets. I mean, every time. year mm. they get amazing gifts. So, mm -hmm. so congratulations. Mm -hmm. to, um, and I'm excited on Monday. Chimamanda celebration. She's yes. speaking. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. 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 She's going to be one of the speakers on Monday. Oh, be there. Be there. Uh, Neka, yeah, oh, Neka House. Mm. Oh, anyway, yeah. Yeah. So Chimamanda <laughs> is coming day. live and direct. We've never heard her speak. Please Chima come Amanda. to celebration on Monday. Yes. I think it's 10 a.m. I believe, or 11. Yeah. I think it's 11 a.m. Actually, okay. come early so you can get a seat. Mm -hmm. But I'm excited to see her speak. You know. Do the African thing. Yes. Yeah. I have questions okay. for her. Yeah, we yeah. gotta bring her on the show, you know. <laughs> okay, let's go on a break right now. When we come back, we'll go through the front pages of the newspaper. Stay with us, we'll be right back. <clears throat> We're gonna start now with the nation. Buhari, World Bank, IMF data on Nigeria unreliable. Picture here, suspect, I hit Navy commander on the head with a rod. <laughs> Government's labor for new uh, minimum wage talks on Tuesday. Missing cash, 135 million are recovered from general. Senators reps begin budget debate and Unilag panel to probe Brandy Dons. Okay, let's mm -hmm. start with, oh, there's another uh, story here. Yeah, Court orders like detention of Mena and his son. Let's the start with the major headline, right? Okay, yes, the, the major headline. Yeah. So um, the president has 
uh, <clears throat> with his, he had a meeting with newly inaugurated um, Economic Advisory Council, uh, which is an eight-man um, team. Um, team headed by um, Professor Doin Salami. Right. And what he has asked them to do was to bring up ideas that would leave about 100 million Nigerians out of poverty. And he, has also, and he also said to them that he would like for them to be able to generate data, that most of the data that talks about Nigeria and what we're going through is always data from those who are not Nigerians or from abroad and normally does not reflect what is truly happening in our country. Exactly, exactly. So he's asking that he should be able to give us those sort of data that yeah. would reflect that. Yeah. Okay, good. let's May, take one more story. Yeah, yeah, go ahead, so Mayna. the ESCC got an order from um, the federal government to um, get detained Mena and his son. That's the uh, pension reform tax team, Mr. Abdullah. Abdul Rashid Mena and his son. So um, they've taken them into custody at the moment. The investigations have revealed that he has about 40 assets. He needs to explain himself on how he got those assets. And he also used this BVN to open different accounts for mm. his relatives, especially his sister, with large chunks of money in those mm. accounts. So that is being properly investigated. They're also saying they're going to, um, you know, um, hand over his son to the police right. for illegal arms. Okay. You know, because we have the story on trying here. to stop them. Um, 135 million naira cash has been recovered from General yes. Ahmed Otiki, mm -hmm. who was found culpable in stealing money, diverting Nigerian army's money, mm -hmm. which was meant for special intervention to buy furniture within Sokoto. Right. He was, uh, he, was he, he also had a, his account was frozen. They found out that 100 million was transferred to someone, 60 million transferred to someone. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a general in the army right. who was stealing okay. from the army. And so we're happy that EFCC has done yeah. a good job in recovering some of that money. Okay, good still thing. Let's move on to Vanguard. Yeah. 2020 budget projections on realistic, says senators. Mm. It's a budget of taxation, says minority leader. Taraba Varsity expels students for criticizing governor on Facebook. <laughs> Unilag sets up probe panel. Buari rejects World Bank and IMF statistics on Nigeria. Uh, GDP growth projection of 2.93% is highly optimistic, but achievable. And we can do without Senate, says Fayemi. Okay, let's start with this Taraba Varsity, this student that was yeah. actually expelled. Yes, his name is um, Joseph Israel. Right. He's been he's been expelled, but they are alleging that it could, he's been expelled because <clears throat> officially because he didn't sign the his matriculation. Form. Yes, oath he, oath form. Oath form. And yes, he didn't show up. and he didn't show up. But there, if you go to his Facebook page, there are so many criticisms that okay. he's made against the sitting governor right now of right. Taraba State. And people are alleging that that could be the reason why he's There was only a conversation he had with someone who also actually also accused said, him yes. okay. of, of um, condemning the governor. Go ahead. Yeah, so he's, con he's, he's a known um, vocal mm -hmm. person against the governor. He's always writing Twitter and on, on Twitter and Facebook against yeah. the governor. <clears throat> the offense he's being expelled for doesn't carry that um, penalty. So he's saying that this is a political move to expel him from the school because of his, his being vocal against the governor, mm. that even if he didn't sign the oath, the mm. penalty for not signing oath not, does not, not mean he should be expelled. Okay. And I think that the government should look, look into, into it, it and NUC should look okay. into it. Okay, Governor Fahemi is shaking tables, he's breaking tables. Who has that story? We read that story, but <laughs> I, I didn't. Um, I wanted okay, us to have time. Let me, let me, let me tell you what, yeah. what the, the report said that. It was, I think it was at the National Economic Council meeting, and it was su suggesting that, first of all, they need to implement the Orange Committee report, yeah. where agencies have been collapsed. Because mm -hmm. right now we have too many agencies doing yeah. duplicate uh, functions. Oh. Secondly, yeah, yeah. he's agreeing, or he's echoing what Senator Okorocha said last week, mm -hmm. that he's even saying scrap Senate. That, for example, because Okorocha was saying only have one Senator. He's mm -hmm. saying we don't need it. We need a unicameral yeah. government yeah, 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 such yeah. that it's only the House of Reps that mm -hmm. uh, the National Assembly that we have without so, the, right, the challenge senators. is this government organized, got a committee to come up with a solution mm. to the bloated system and did not implement the things that the that, yeah, committee put together. Yeah. And what, what so are we I doing? On this table, several times, all the issues we've had always come back to the fact that Look, let's, you, you need to reduce your own cut, cut down first. Yeah. So if they, if they maybe adopt some of his suggestions, cut down a bit. When we see that you've cut yeah. down, maybe we'll pay more taxes. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll actually oh, listen to our government. We see that everybody And our budget will not be an ambitious budget that we, we can't so, afford. Yeah, Leave the budget, but okay, we have to talk about budget. We have to talk about budget. We talked about yesterday. You have done yeah. pages. Who has no, this report? Did you read no, the... no, no. The, the, the senators are simply saying that it is all, we, we, what we have expected, what we, what what we are the, expecting the to do. Senators are saying that the budget is unrealistic. You mm. cannot expect that taxation will fund your budget, which mm. is what we're doing so far.
We can't. It's, it's, you can't just jump says, from depending okay, on well, oil. There are different to... angles. They say that the debt percentage is also pretty high yes. uh, and the GDP ratio is too small. Mm. Well, well let, let's move on to the punch. Everybody's we going to know. step. We, we know that this issue of budget will continue <coughs> for the next one week, but let us wait and see how far that goes. Moving on now to the punch. National Assembly LCI experts knock federal government's 2020 budget. We just mentioned that. Man arraigned for sleeping with his four daughters. Hmm. Oh, Lagos get 300 megawatt power plants from UAE. Play two PDP ex governor aspirant defrauds bureau de change operators. Find me one Senate up scrapped on your reports implemented. Minimum wage deadline, labor mobilizes strike. FG counters move. And federal government pays PNID 250,000 pounds. Court ordered costs. Okay, what stories are we taking? The 64 year old man who yeah. has been arraigned for um, alleged, allegedly sleeping with his four daughters from 12 to 20 years of age. Mm. And he comes back w whenever they question him, Why are you doing this to us? He tells them that uh, it was uh, okayed in the Bible. At least Job slept with his daughters, and God is aware, yeah. God supports that. Not kind Job, of thing. a lot. Lots, sorry, yes. lots. He, he slept, slept with his two daughters with in the daughter. Bible, <laughs> and um, like, they, really that, that, that God supports it, really. And so he's been arraigned. The case is still in court. Well, it's not a religious case. And so case. what he does is, yeah, oh, mm, hold on. Course. What he does is, when they fight him back, he, def he doesn't. He denies them of food. Mm. He doesn't oh. give them food. He mm. starves them till they. Succumb. Okay, let's move on to so, the last story I want to take. Illegal, yeah. It's not a religious, religious issue. issue. It's not no. a case. So yeah, it's just, illegal. So yeah, yeah, he's, he's going to be dealt with. He's dealt with his own defense. It doesn't make oh, any sense. Um, Lagos is getting three. Well, they've gotten, according to uh, the ambassador from UAE, was yes. telling them, the minister in, the, uh, in, in Abuja, that they have 300 megawatts power plants from UAE to Lagos State, yeah. and that exactly they've expanded to 1,000 1, megawatts. And what they're doing is that they're asking the federal government to give them a license to generate because mm. they've already still the deal with Shell for mm. the gas. Yeah. So hopefully, <laughs> So yeah. we're looking for real investors. So yeah, please, and I'm so even happy true. talking to Lagos. So at least hopefully we'll have lights very soon. Honestly, oh, yes, I can't wait. Even it's if good we have news. The, lights, the laws have already be put it. It's going to the national grid. So uh, until we change uh, the law uh, that uh, can ensure that Lagos can generate and feed it. That's why he's asking the minister to do what he can to ensure yes. they get the license to generate. So PNID. Yes, PNID. Go ahead. So please. he's just saying that we have paid two hundred and fifty thousand pounds to the court for processing, right? And that that was something we had to pay, but that they are asking for a of execution on the 200 million, million dollars for security. So, so the inefficiency has cost done. us 250 yes. million. Leave the matter. We had to pay that. Ah, had to pay that. And then but it's right. the inefficiency <laughs> the government yeah, yeah, yeah. Not this government. We made our mistakes. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's it's Thursday. We're not, we're not talking to any serious things. Ah. Okay, Daily Sun. <laughs> <laughs> serious Nigeria. <laughs> Daily Sun. 30,000 Naira minimum wage. FG moves to prevent workers' strike. Igbos have no regrets supporting Atiku and Obi says Unwudu. 2020 budget senators knock Buhari's projections. President sets agenda for economic council. Mm. Checks for, uh, for admission, Unilag raises panel to try lecturers. Mm. Corruption, ICPC, police plan joint stink operation against security officers. Mm. Okay. The issue of minimum wage. Go ahead, please. Yes, ah, so we have. Wage. <laughs> <laughs> They've kick started another round of negotiations. They've okay. had several meetings already. And um, they, they now said, that's okay, for all the, yes, yes, okay. that's for next week. So they are saying the TUC will meet on their own, NLC will meet on their own, the federal government will meet on their own. And they are appealing, the federal government is appealing that whatever they come to, whatever conclusions they come to, right. that the um, NLC should just accept it. So now they, they are going to have a grand finale right. meeting <laughs> on the 15th. That's you know, they were supposed to have a strike on the 16th. What okay. Okay. Let's said. move. On. Implement on a report, let's and all of on. us would not mind the issues that will happen. Mm. Let's go yes. to the Nigerian Tribune. Buhari hits Buhari's 10.3 trillion naira budget <laughs> divides Senate. Political parties may be reduced to five. Ah, hey, they are really talking this reduction matter. That's mm. fantastic. We have to look How to policemen it. sexually abused me many times. Nine year old people tell Scott that was a very heartbreaking story. Buhari to Economic Council um, work on lifting 100 million Nigerians out of poverty. Who has that story with the nine-year-old's confession? Yes, I have the story. So um, this uh, particular child uh, lives in a compound with a policeman. I, um, I, I'm trying to get his age. Officer. Yeah. Yeah. Officer, yeah, he's an officer. So um, he calls her into the room, pretends to send her on errands. There was a particular time he, he, he pretended to send her to buy milk of 200 naira, and then he had carnal knowledge of her. Oh. He did the 
uh, uh, anus and vagina oh, at Lord. the same time. And so when his sister was out there looking for her and shouting her name, he hid her under the bed, telling her not to make uh, any noise and Nine not tell old. anybody. But then the sister found her and was like, where have you been? And she told the sister she's been with the officer. She beat her reported to the mother when she came back they quizzed her at the end of the day and then you she reported the case that issue, she was threatened mm. not to say anything or the policeman would the kill issue her. of children on the age this department is really is getting out of hand i mean all the papers have it What's all the, the papers the this one the daily trust also has a man charged for raping his a deaf neighbor's daughter mm. like it's it's happened i don't yeah, know what we're going to do was the same story. we need to start yeah, i mean i know jumaka used to push for castration but we need to actually make it louder that yes, that, that voice must be louder yeah. we have to find a way to castrate this because obviously this five-year jail term thing they it's have is not, not working it's not a strong enough it's not a strong enough yeah. uh, the, the deterrent mm -hmm. okay the major final paper we can't take to me but rehab centers grounded at 60 million nigerians suffer mental disorder hmm. i thought you take that story considering that today Today is World Mental Health yeah, Day. Yeah, so we have a shortage of mental health workers with just about 200 uh, mental health workers with servicing 200 million people. Mm -hmm. And they are saying here that Nigerians, 30% of Nigerians are mentally ill. So we need to do more about with getting a lot of um, psychologists into yeah. the system. Yeah, so I don't yeah. know where the government and can take it up. qualified people, them. but why not? The government isn't employing them into the institutions available. Unfortunately, yes. we have to round up. That's all we can take. On front page review, when we come back, today we are digging into this issue of sex for marks. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a major issue. People have been talking about it since weekend. And we discuss it, it all the broke. time. And we discuss it all the time. We mentioned yes, it last yeah. year, we discussed it a lot of time. Even when the, the lay fair happened, the mm -hmm. professor in OAU happened. Mm -hmm. We discussed it extensively. But this recent one, obviously, is still getting people talking. In fact, the Senate is actually reviewing the, the, the bill on this issue. So we'll see how... Uh, what your thoughts are, and we'd like to hear. But first, we'll discuss one other, I think the Isako community are doing some great things. We'll discuss with them. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. <laughs> Thanks for staying with us. Culture is part of us. There are various ways we can use culture to address issues affecting us in our country. On the show today, a representative from Sako in Edo State will be talking on how you can showcase our cultural heritage and investment opportunities within Nigeria. Joining us now is a lawyer and the president of Sako, Yalo, Mr. Yusuf. Asama Kadri, welcome to the show, sir. Thank you. Good to have you on. Thank so, Isako communities, I know that's where Nima is from. <laughs> and she's very, she's proudly Isako. Proudly always Isako. talking about it. You know, this, that, and that. But tell us about what is your community doing right now to invest in Nigeria? Well, as we all know, Isako is uh, one of the major um, ethnic groups in the northern part of Edo State. Okay. So the area, you call, the area called Edonaut has Afemai. It's called Afemai, and uh, part of Afemai, Isako is about 50% uh, or 60% of Afemai. And then there's three local government areas, and then, uh, then the other parts of Afemai, you have Akoko Edo and Owan. Okay. No? Yes. That's where we're from. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's, a, it's, a comp it's just... Uh, a portion of the larger Afemai, mm. Afemai group, okay. you know, and uh, that is, I, like I always say, we are minorities among the minorities, mm. but, but uh, it's, a, it's, it's a very unique section of uh, the country with a unique kind of people, right. you know, who are Quiet, but mm. uh, Nima from there. Nima is not quiet, <laughs> but, but, but has contributed enormously to to, right. to Nigeria. Right. Um, uh, the the is a land that is you know that is very rich in uh, uh -huh. agriculture <coughs> and uh, and uh, solid mineral resources and of course. Human capital. Right. I know Obviously. you're doing something, an event coming up. So, what is it about? What are, what are you doing in Lagos exactly? Yes, on Saturday we have uh, the Esako Day, you know, this year, 2019. It's uh, primarily to showcase uh, the cultural heritage of Esako and, of course, Afemai, the larger group, and uh, the investment opportunities that are bound in Esako land. Okay. Um, 
We're also going to focus on ease of doing business, what the industrial government has been doing to promote ease of doing business, and of course to attract investors mm. to, to ESACO, because uh, we have a lot of uh, resources in the agricultural sector, arable land, one of the best in the country, and then uh, enormous uh, solar minerals all over everywhere, rocks, and, uh, and of course you, we've all heard about uh, the cement factories in uh, Okwila. You know, uh, I know Boa operates there, Dangote operates there, and of course that was uh, the very first state-owned cement factory in Nigeria was actually <coughs> the okay. last cement factory that was uh, built. Okay, so we, yeah. we heard that you do, that the ESAPO, um, this event will be doing a lot of philanthropic work, yeah. um, and you are giving awards to people that have done laudable um, things to contribute to humanity, and we also hear that you... Um, are giving back. What are the things? How do people get involved? Is it give back only to people from indigenous of Isako or is it open to everybody? Uh, first of all, what, is it, what does Isako Club want to start for? It's a social cultural group mm. and uh, our primary focus is you know, to make sacrifices on our own, task ourselves to give back to our primary community. Mm. Okay. Uh, because uh, there's a lot of poverty, you know ravaging most parts of Nigeria and of course uh, Esako is not uh, an isolation. So over the years, uh, the club was uh, founded in 1981 and, uh, and uh, what the club has been very good at doing is supporting the indigent students uh, who do not have those uh, uh, parents to cater for them, to see them through school and uh, a lot of persons have benefited from our scholarship programs over the years. In fact, there was even a member of the House of Reps who in his younger days uh, yes. yes, and mm. had to, uh, if not for his health club, I would not have been a university graduate. That's and awesome. then also, uh, we've done a lot of uh, things, uh, like last year, when there was flood all over everywhere, and uh, you know, because we have boundary with uh, River Niger, around Agenebude, and uh, the Niger uh, overflow, and uh, a lot of communities were ravaged, and uh, we had to go there to give them uh, relief materials. Yes. To, to support. It's good. I mean, I, 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 we, we, we'll run around up soon, but the thing yeah. is, that I think it's important that many other communities replicate what you're doing because obviously you're giving back. Yeah. Yes, you've been able to um, put every, your resources and tax each other yeah. to develop, which is really important. So yeah. we have to round up, but I was just, is there any last message you want to share to our viewers concerning that Isako Day? Yes. Um, yes, uh, this is a very important day to us right. because we need to you know, tell our story right. and let the world see what we're doing and also to challenge uh, people from the various communities all over the country you know, because we believe that government cannot do it alone and right. uh, people should take ownership mm. for the development of their communities Fantastic. and do their very best. If God has blessed you, do your very mm. best to give back to where you come society. from, to give back to the less society Fantastic. and to give back to the less privileged. Exactly. You know, and I must tell you, ways. sir, Nima has done an amazing job supporting, I mean, actually being a good ambassador of his community. I mean, people yeah. love her and she's doing an amazing job, especially in that area, that there's always traffic. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. Thank you so much, sir, for coming. Thank you very much. We're going to go on a break. Now, when we come back, as I said, we're going to be discussing this, this trending issue, the sex for great scandals. Stay with us, we'll be right back. Stay tuned, your view will be right back. Welcome back to your view. Yes, thanks for staying with us. So, um, the girl, Kiki Mordi, actually, she's a staff of WFM 91.7. Uh, and um, she, she's working, she's head of programs there. And I think BBC collaborated with WFM to bring out this documentary. So it wasn't a solely BBC uh, project. Uh, and this is somebody who works in Nigeria. So it's a Nigerian project, really. And when she went on the cover for this, and the moment this, this, the, the, the news broke, so many people initially condemned the approach, how it was carried out, or why would they do something like that? There were so many criticisms from different angles. Now, let me start with what came, what came to mind when you saw this video? What, what, what crossed your mind, and how did you react to it when it happened? For me, it was just, there was nothing new. It seemed like I was watching something I'd seen many, many times before. Mm. I wasn't shocked, I wasn't, but I was shocked and irritated mm. by those who were shocked by the video. I'm like, really? You mean that all the screamings and shoutings and all the times that people have come out many times to say, this is what we have faced, this is what we're going through. You still have the audacity to be shocked. How? I'm, I'm, that was what upset me. And then of course, 
Then the audacity of those who are saying, well, this is entrapment, this is um, this poor you, journalistic, you, you, yes, mm. poor journalistic, investigative, investigative journalistic. blah, blah, blah. I'm like, really, that is the point. Mm. We always do that when women come out mm. to talk about abuse, we find other things that are unimportant right. to break to it highlight. down. There was a woman who came out and talked about a pastor. We talked about timelines. Now we're talking about how the investigation was done. Mm. You know, those are the things that upset me about this You see, you see this things. in a patriarchal society where yeah. it's almost like, ah, ah, why, why is she just coming out now? Or the fact that why, why that BBC should have done better. You know, there's a way you go about journal, investigative this journalism. Is journalism. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, but all this is real life. Coming, Sorry coming for back you. to the issue now, the sex for grace. Now, let, let me get your reaction before we go into sex for mm, grace. Okay. Your reaction when you saw the so, video. So, um, I wasn't shocked because I, I went through the university system in Nigeria and it, it, I missed it a couple of times. It would have happened to me, but God just had a way of protecting me. Of He protected me at that time, and I was able to miss it. But then I had people it had happened to, and I knew the reactions. And, you know, when I was having this conversation with somebody, and the girl said, eh, eh it's not only lecturers they should blame. There are a lot of girls, I know girls in the university, who go there, they show their body, they dress this way, they want to seduce the lecturers. I say, I know. There are girls like that. But this is what we have to fight for the sake of those girls who actually want to go to school for going to school's sake. You don't say because there are people who are doing bad things, you now cover, take your face away from the evil that's happening in the land because there are people who want to do that. That is by the way. So for, for me, mm. I was... This was just more like showing the decay in our society because the truth is they have not come out to say these are the laws we have guiding this school before this happened. People are just trying to find their feet. Oh, do we suspend? Do we take away the job? Do but we? There, there, are no, the point. there are no but strict laws in those universities. Let's, 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 let's when I first saw that video, I was shocked. I had never witnessed anything like that. I've heard about it, but I was seeing it live. I've heard what they call grooming when. People, adults want to prey on young, young people and how they prepare them. I've heard about it, but I've never seen it. So I was watching real life, Grooming. how they groom people. So he was asking if the girl is, has ever had, uh, if she's been sexually active. She was, he was preparing her mm. for what he wants to do to her. And if for any reason she innocently said that, I, I, I read the meals and bones, they say they kiss people. Okay, do you want to know how it's done? Mm. He would have done it. He was, he, I, I was shocked. So. I, and I am extremely happy that whether it's journalistic or not journalistic, mm -hmm. people now know what to look out for. Because I had a relationship with someone and I was telling the, guy, the, the, the young girl that guys will say it's painful when you don't give them sex. And she said she just heard it yesterday and she almost did it. So when we, when we don't share our stories, when we are hiding it or we're saying it is inappropriate mm. for you to put it out, we are denying people of the opportunity to be aware that they are about to be groomed mm. and they are to about to that. be abused. Okay. We don't know. Um, okay, so there's also another angle of two consenting adults. Yes, you understand the 17-year-old underage, yeah. but you're 21, you're in university. Is it such a bad thing to fall in love with your lecturer? Hey! There's a, there's a part of that conversation, too. Yeah, that's, that's, that's not good. No! Yeah, they're they're having so a sex, conversation. Let's mm -hmm. face the sex for Max. Yes. Yes. Because someone came out after this story broke and said that lecturers prey on weak students. Not every, the, even, not every student would have A's. Mm. Even when they study, the pattern with which our educational, uh, our educational system is structured gives you mark for recall. Some people are so intelligent that they are creative thinkers, they yeah. can't recall verbatim. Yes. And the average lecturer in our university asks you to give recall. me what I wrote in your book. Yeah. So, so the lecturers now prey on people that cannot flourish in such environments. Mm. So they're not facing the A students. They're facing that D student, that F student, mm. and they are telling that person that if you, if you want to improve yourself, you know, I, come and do this okay. with me. Okay. Right. And that's so, the problem. Yes. So for me, I even made a list. I said, usually when you come out and say, this is what has happened to me, people will come for you, they'll be like, what did you wear? Mm -hmm. And then I just went around listening to people. A lot of people have said so many things. We have Nigerians who are studying abroad. And they say that if you see the way non-Nigerians normally dress, it means that then everybody will just be jumping on students yeah. there. Yeah. So it's not about the way that you dress. Mm -hmm. They would say to you, it's because you were not academically strong. That's why you're vulnerable to things like that. But you hear people who school in different universities outside Nigeria, and they'll say to you, your lecturer wants you to win. 
cases where you have fallen short or you need like a re reset, the lecturer is the one that would help you to make sure and support you and make sure that you write those exams. They don't use that opportunity to abuse you. Mm. So there is no reason for abuse really, except mm. which I keep asking, which where that's my next thought is. These lecturers that are in these universities abusing people, are they ordinarily, are they already perverts? Mm. And then they look for jobs like this mm. to come and then okay, work on their, let me take know, this or call. they're just opportunistic. Mm. Mm. Let me take this call. Good morning, are you there? Hello? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, so there are two sides to it. So you have the uh, parts where the students are not doing academically okay and then they have to go back to the lecturers please help me I failed this course what can I do then we have the part that the students are good students but a lecturer just comes into the class yes. and decides that this girl I want her mm -hmm. for whatever reason and decides to frustrate you and that happened to me in my 300 level in, in fact, I spoke to another lecturer who told me that if they tell you they are missing your scores, we'll call for it because I followed your grades from year one. We must call for your scripts. And I was in 300 level, I started wearing shirts. I shut up because I was preparing myself for the outside world. So I wasn't wearing skimpies or anything, but that lecturer figured me out and said, who, do you think you will pass through this department without us knowing you? In front of the whole class. Mm -hmm. He wasn't that's hiding it. So that's, that's a boldness that they have to showcase. Most times in some schools, they don't hide it. They, they are, there were lecturers in my department who would tell you to go and pay for a hotel room. So the question is, you there. this is so Can rampant, imagine. why do we just hush hush about it? Why do we ah. talk about that's it? That's the system. in a patriarchal society. Mm -hmm. While I was blessed not to experience any of this, Probably because, and I don't want to blame anything, I was just favored not to have experienced any of this. I knew that it was happening. But the video showed us that the lecturer said there's a place called the cold room. Where they keep fish. And in this place, this is what happened. Mm. And it is known among the lecturers. Yes. So when a, the, the university students. said that we have no zero tolerance for sexual they predators, yeah. they and, you, and your lecturers Mouth are doing this, you have not created an environment that enables the students That's to feel strong enough mm -hmm. to walk up to the school authority and say that, I am failing. I would rather fail than sleep with a lecturer to okay, get let me take this call the from scores. John. So can, wait, the, the question I would like you to think about is that, can Unilag, for example, there's a, there's a school in this, in this regard, mm -hmm. can they claim that they are not aware hmm. that there's a cold room functioning within the staff quarters? Well, they shut after the fact. Mm -hmm. But they say that, <laughs> can you categorically tell me mm -hmm. that you had no idea this was going on? But you let me take this call first. Mr. John, are you there? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Uh, uh, good morning. Morning. Yes, I'm happy that this thing is coming up again, and uh, I think it's for the good of such lecturers that they are exposed, so that if they return, maybe they can't in prison, mm. because their souls can be saved, mm. you know? But if you say, After for that instance, that the way that the guest dress that, that makes you fall, then the, the man who who abuses his daughters. How I also you? find such excuses. Mm. I think no matter how badly the girls behave mm. in school, no which is condemnable, the adults, the fathers, and this man is a pastor, we should show the example. We can correct our young people he prayed by, for her. By, being, by having self-control. Mm. I'm happy for him if he will repent. This is a good exposure for him and mm. for others. Thank you. Thank you very much. You so know, the part, John, yeah. yeah, I just wanted to say something John mentioned. I, I was talking to somebody and I was saying, can you imagine he was a pastor? Yeah. The person looked at me and said, no, he's a father. That's what you should be thinking of. It dawned on me, sometimes even us have that, we make excuses for people, that you're a human being first. Before any you're other a calling. a father. You're likely, you're in your 50s, likely to have a young girl growing up in your house. Would you want to do that to her? See someone do that to her? If that were to happen to her, how would you behave? Where, where, where is our consciousness? Where's our sympathy? Where, mm. we're supposed, you, as the lecturer, you're supposed to inspire. Right. Bring it to, bring he's a pastor. He's no, a but pastor, he's, and pastor, the pastor this. Pastor is yeah. 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 to give her life to Christ, and they did a confession together, he's and he prayed for her. So, a yeah, so, I, what, what, I, what, I, what I feel <clears throat> is that, as a society, and, and the, 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 it's what you, your question you asked about you know, the, ch the school particularly, Unilab mm. suspended him to do investigation. Mm. What are you suspending for? What investigation are you doing? Yeah. There's a video clip showing his face 
asking a 17 year old girl to kiss him for a minute what investigation are you doing yeah, so they why should check why should any to it's a video mm -hmm. in it's his it's office so what investigation are you doing you suspend him and then the body language is that everybody keeps saying that lecturers cover their back they know that they, they have a code mm -hmm. that we protect ourselves yeah. Yeah. that should not be seen as right the moment it comes out you should bring out what your um your book okay. your your um code of Under, ethics uh, yes. your code of conduct already says and what should be the next action but this immediately should be, but some people are saying that this should be a direct indictment on the entire management of yes. the yes yes it is i i believe that um they are all in it together because all the schools that these things happen you hear a uh, lecturer telling you you can't report this case they will come after you and they blacklist that student you'll be failing in all other Everywhere. courses so they are in <clears throat> it together we have to tell ourselves the truth we are not fighting this because we feel after all our society respects the men more we can always cover our tracks and nothing is going to happen yeah Maria, that's I, just the issue I, I read someone made a comment she said she showed her mother this video and the mother looked at watched it and she says Oh, wow. The girls are recording it now. We didn't have that technology back then. <laughs> Your mother. Do you know how sad that is? That this has been going on for, for, decades. For, for, for decades, for generations. And finally, at least we are able to speak up. Someone has said to me, eh, the girls may be in it as well. And I said, the reason, why don't they speak up? I said, because every time we speak up, every time women speak up, where society like is supposed to now hold their support. hands and support them and even make it louder. Mm. We break them down. Yeah. We ostracize them. So people have decided the only way to win is not to say anything, anything about it. it Let's way. go on a break. When we come back, we really would like to hear the views of our callers. Please call in and send us tweets. We'll read all the messages. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Stay tuned. Your view will be right back. Welcome back to Your View. Thanks for staying with us. So there's a part, the, the part that this is also a pastor of not just any church. Foursquare is a big church. It's like saying a pastor of... But they dealt with it. And so, yeah, immediately. I mean, they didn't even wait to do any investigation. Mm. It's immediate effect. I understand they, that. They had not heard of it before. Eh, no, of course, I doubt. <laughs> I seriously <laughs> doubt it. They but just wanted to mm. wash in other wash, churches. Wash in other hands churches that don't it. do like okay. that. Yeah. Yeah. No, this so one was the BBC Africa. <laughs> the world is watching. The world is watching. <laughs> world is watching. You it's have to do that. something So it's not about BBC. I have gone to... I've been to Foursquare, so I know that they have this policy. Don't say don't blow. This case blow now. You have to wash Don't your hands off it. That's there's just a, it. There's, so a, me, there's a case in point that it was on video by BBC. Yeah, we will not be having that conversation exactly. we're still having. Yeah. You know. So for, for me, the thing is, you have to know that before a man becomes called to be a man of God, he's first a man. And every man has his weaknesses which if you don't handle your weaknesses properly, if you don't work on it, it's like somebody came to me one time and like, some of these life coaches, I don't like them. Mm. And I said, why? Well, I said, because they teach people, but you don't see it in their yeah, lives. Right. I said, okay, when you teach people the principles you know, and they use those principles, it works for them. If you don't use it in your life, it will not work for you. So you might be teaching the right thing, but you're not following it. Yeah, so these wrong. men may have mm. weaknesses that they have not worked on, even being a man of God. So when they are done with the preaching, they go back to the same person. Okay. That they are. Mm. But you see, my worry is the prevalence. You see, yes. if one person uh, goofs or one person makes a mistake, oh, it's my own weakness. But the prevalence is across all our universities. So, you know, so, so, yeah, so what can we do or what are we doing yeah. such that all these men or these uh, um, the, the, these men actually mm. are identified and prosecuted yeah, because we can't up. just use this man as a scapegoat too. No, mm -hmm. yeah. the others, we can't speak another the but there are many yeah. others. You have yeah, to be and this is not just a Nigerian thing. So mm. it happens no. everywhere. So that's why I was going when I said, I, I don't know if these people are perverts originally, and then they find places like schools and, you know, pray. to pray, pray on people. On, yeah. Or they are just opportunists, you know, this opportunistic perversion that they have. So they find themselves here and there are so many young, vulnerable mm. girls. So what do we do about that? So for me, I do think it's largely opportunistic. Mm. And it is, it is prevalent because they know that get away with it. there's silence on the other side. Yeah. When you do not speak up, when nobody believes you, even if you speak up, you will, you would, you would create this situation. So mm. the best thing to do is what we're doing now, is to speak up, is to put them on video, is to get them on camera. If you do that, at least 
for maybe 50 percent of them for them for those for those of them that is just an opportunity they won't do it then for those of them i have issues then we now start looking for where to send them so to handle their problems um as a society anything you accept will flourish mm -hmm. so our society has accepted that men can't control themselves that mm -hmm. lecturers sometimes can do these things and because mm. they are a man is a as, man. yes our society has accepted it so it will continue to flourish if our society has now decided that we want to support women that are being abused mm. and being um oppressed then our society will change its body language by punishing severely those that are caught you don't need to catch 50 people mm. you just need one and the then you make that line. one a scapegoat in yes, a way sir. that everybody will know, I don't want to be embarrassed like this. Mm. So we will change so our let's reaction. Let's talk about solutions now. Talk yeah. about, okay, but, so one solution for me, which I, I was going to say was that, thankfully, you can buy spy cameras in computer village if you're in Lagos. They sell it, just enter the village and say you want spy camera. You put it in your button, you put it in your bag, record that lecturer that is harassing you. <laughs> because there is no better time than now to deal with this kind of thing. Yeah. We have technology on our side. And universities should also engage CCTV across. If you yes. really want, if they really want to show yes. that they want to that tackle this issue, this. let us see you actually put cameras across at staff rooms, yes. in cold rooms, yes. wherever yes. they are. <laughs> For me, that brings the issue of sincerity mm. on, the part of this. The, on the part of the schools. Are they sincere that they want to in fight the this cause? In the fight, are they sincere? <laughs> because if they are sincere, you know, initially I mentioned that I need to see the laws that they had. Mm. At the beginning, as you're they coming have. into school, I need to see that law that mm. when there's a sexual, uh, any form of sexual harassment or sexual whatever it is, you yeah. will be done. This will be done. They, they need to show it to us that they actually had this conversation yes. with their staff yeah. before it happened. Yeah. So now everybody's cooking up. What do we do? What do we do? That means there was no plan. Yeah. No, but I, yeah, they, 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 they do have. They, they have. Yeah, yeah, many of them have this they staff. Have, staff. They have it in their staff manual that they should do. But they never implement these things. So there are two sides of those that can help us do it. To you. Mm. Good morning, Aida. I think it's Ibrahim. Thanks for calling. Good morning. Go ahead, sir. Okay, I'm a first time caller. Welcome to the Welcome show. To show. And then this issue of uh, sexual harassment in the school has been around for a while. Yeah. And then the whole situation mm -hmm. is because we stopped to being African. That is why this nonsense is gaining ground. You know, sometimes we just want to be religious and want to be uh, lawful. Sometimes these people don't need to, to you know, they, they, they don't really need you to follow law on them. You know, they are just people who are naturally bad, and there is nothing you can use to justify them. It's not because the students are dressing bad, it's not because of any other thing. Yes. It's just because there is nothing stopping them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there, is, there is no serious force mm -hmm. that is stopping them. Uh, a, a lecturer once told me that I, I know how many girls I want to release now. That is how many of the students that is ready to let graduate. Not because they are not good. Mm. Just mm. because he wants to release them to graduate. <laughs> You can. Imagine. So imagine yes, if we are being African, like the way we are. If all this thing now, if you have started smelling this thing and you put Magu on your body, and let him cross now and cross over. Mm. Oh, you Thank you very now. much. Go Thank African. You, tweet, so we've got to, we have Minas. Okay, Minas Corner says the uni is a replica of the society we live in. Yes. The lecturers getting involved with students has been there for long. They don't care if you are A or A. F great students. The mm -hmm. university authorities are aware, so nothing more to be delayed in prosecuting so a girl child can be safe. Because Kola Wale Obajobi says, I am a man. It happened to me in the 80s. Mm. I was at Unifair, not OAU. The issue as long as all the universities exist. My girlfriend then mentioned my name and was called out, and I was called out by these lecturers. Then my grades were then down my grades. Andrew in Stratham says, one of my friends ran away from a famous Niger University as lecturer of computation and a sports lecturer from the UK. The temptation was too much for him as a man. Some of the girls were throwing themselves at him. He had to move to a bank. Omovia says, it's unfortunate. Some girls purposely do it. Haven't you heard of how ladies will go to the pastors for counseling, but what they actually want for okay, went let's talk for about that. Uh, so a 16 year, let's, let's, let's focus on that a bit. Hmm. A 16 year old, this is 17, 17 year old kid comes to you, a teacher, hmm. and she has spaghetti strapped 
top on and some uh, what's that called those those let's even shots. say that she wore a robe and, and got into your and office took it and off. took it off mm -hmm. as she was naked so what are you supposed to do as a lecturer right who is who the adult in exactly that scene? who was employed into a school to teach what is your job first of no, all are you because i've heard of there was a case in my school then there's a particular lecturer who doesn't do, do all those kind of things so a lady walked into the place to seduce him and he walked her out was screaming her name as she was going. If you ever come to my office again, I will embarrass you. Why would so you just even you should be, No, no, you should be <laughs> the know. bigger person. Even if they are giving it to you, that is not what you are there for. You should call that oh, child to order. At, right in the West. No, but, no, but at every, right in, at West. every point no, no. in time, very no, rarely would a lecturer be in, will be put in, tempt, in a situation of temptation with someone that maybe is much older and all of that. In most cases, these students are, are younger. younger, and mm -hmm. so you're yeah, the older person. But to solve this problem, there are two sides. One, the universities need to internally deal with this situation in a way that they create a policy framework that is, gives the open, the open doors to students to come and report harassment, Lecturers to report harassment because there are harassments from t from um, students to the lecturer. Right. It must be open. Then where is the where is what is NUC doing? The, Ni the Nigerian University Commission. They haven't said anything. Where is As what, what is ASU doing? Because we have bodies mm -hmm. that monitor these universities. Yeah. We have a minister for education. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they claim to be unaware of what is going on. Engage the federal government when they come to negotiate. salaries. <laughs> Nobody really wants to engage in ma real matters mm. that affects the the, so the, young, Asu, the, the yeah. people actually. This is a new member take, of ASU. Let yeah. me take this call, I believe. Thanks for calling. Are you there? I think it's uh, Mr. Akin, I believe. Okay. Are you there? Yes, I'm there. Go ahead, please. Okay, I'm uh, a first time caller. Welcome, Welcome to the show. show. Um, what I want to say as a father, I'm scared of sending my child to Nigeria or Ghana. That's one. Number two, the journalist should be commended. Yes. He should be given an award yes. for his uh, courage and uh, that uh, confidence mm -hmm. of doing that job because it's a very risky job. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank you. It's a good thing that you mentioned that because well, I was told that BBC actually approached WFM, that's the Women for FM, 97.1, um, I believe, or 91.7, 91.7. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. They actually approached them that they needed a Nigerian journalist mm -hmm. to Handle carry this out. Mm -hmm. And they now volunteered their head of, pro yeah. head of presentation. So that's, that's her job. Yes, going back to yes, the I issue was, of... Yes, I was, you were talking about when if, some, if the lady is the one that propositions the man and everybody is trying to explain what the person should do. A younger person comes before you. She'd not carry a gun, mm -hmm. not carry a knife, mm -hmm. and she opens herself. Take a me, big broom, and wipe her bum bum hard out and of walk her out of the office <laughs> and ask her to go, you know, and make yeah. sure that she's properly punished. Right, right, I mean, right. since when did a 16, 17, or 18 year old girl have so threats. much power mm -hmm. over a right. man? Ah, no, in that uh, area, they have power. So that means you have something. <laughs> Please. So you, you know that. Um, Boys also are a victim of this mm -hmm. in the sense that a lecturer likes a girl and sees you close to that girl and starts harassing you, thinks you are having maybe you are dating, that's your girlfriend in class, mm -hmm. and then they, they put you on the spot and they want to fail you. It happened to a friend of mine. Mm -hmm. And all the while, I didn't know what was happening. But I just know that the guy kept failing that particular course. And that lecturer kept saying, bring that girl for me. Ah. Yes. <laughs> yes you have Boys suffer never... that as, yes. as well. Yes. So I think they, there should be, I think the <laughs> National <laughs> Assembly or something right. should, you know, make a law that will protect students That's from what I'm calling predators. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah. Mariah, this... Let me take this call from Hezekiah. Hezekiah, are you there? Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, sorry. Let's take lots of tweets. I'm sure yes. lots of people are happy. Okay, so um, someone made a tweet yesterday. She called out a particular lecturer. I forget the name of her school. She said his name. And she says, okay, he was taken, he was um, moved from one, he, he was sent away for, for the misconduct from a university and he's moved to another university in the same state. Hmm. And I think the governor of Kaduna State saw that tweet and he says, oh, I'm really shocked. So that's another thing. Speak if you up. have now, if you have now sent a lecturer away, we, that's why we need that sexual um, offenders list. Yeah. He should not be able to find himself yeah. in another situation where, where he's he going to children. Okay, now let's come and indict ourselves because mm. it's good to point the finger at the lecturer, the lecturer. But the this starts from the family. Mm. That lecturer is a product of our so society. society yeah. It's a product of a failed system. It's a product yeah. of a failed family structure. Because for a man does, that does not know how to control himself. himself. 
it's also a field responsibility in the part of parenting. So we haven't done enough in helping our men to understand how to curtail hmm. the desires hmm. they have to well, do this. encourage them. <laughs> yes, encourage them, like, okay, your mind you're supposed to let it out. Yeah. So, so something um, has, been, uh, has been trending since Bibian, 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 Big Brother Nigeria ended in that one man went into the house and surprisingly, he did not he he behave himself. He was a responsible man, yeah. and we were applauding him yes. because it is re being responsible is so scarce mm. that we applaud someone for doing what is right. It's not normal. No, for doing and what is meant to do. What is meant to do, what yeah. is right. You know, so we applaud the government for giving us road. We applaud the government for giving us. And I think that at the end of the day, maybe we need to do more of that because if, when we keep celebrating what is good, we might be able to outshine what is evil. Yeah. The men have capacity to be strong. They can control their emotions. And I've said it, I'm, I, I, feel, I feel like I'm a broken record saying it again. <laughs> men can control their emotions. We need to help empower our, our young men and our young boys who are becoming men, and even the adults to understand that you can control this thing. Was he the only thing. person that didn't sleep with anybody in the house? Yeah. Was he, the, the other he, was, he, was, he let, let, was, was married. Yes. Was married but let's man. talk about getting employment. The fact that people who want to give you jobs also demand sex of you. Uh -huh. So sex of favors. Mm. Yeah, sex mm. of you want to get a job, yeah. you want to get, get a, a promotion, you want have some, you have, I mean, I have, I've had the opportunity <laughs> in the city whereby a lady was telling me, she's a young lady, I, I wanted to engage, I think many years ago, my a PR company. And I was interviewing her, and I really liked that. I thought she, she was fit for the job. And then I recommended for her to be em employed. employed. After like two days, I just left it to HR to handle it. Two, three weeks, somebody else got employed. And I wondered, ah, what happened? Well, the person, the number one person, thankfully I still had accounts. I said, what mm -hmm. happened? I thought, I said, ah, hmm. That the guy was asking for, I said, for real? Mm -hmm. I was shocked. So, something has been exchanged. No, something did not, not get exchanged. exchanged. That's, oh, why. that's why she didn't get it. Yes. Okay, yeah. okay. So the other one, uh, something was exchanged. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, and at the same time, but in that kind of situation, what? See, because someone like that keeps quiet, mm -hmm. or someone like me, I even kept quiet about it because you should have I, I was contracted up. to do that do job. job. It wasn't my, was my company. Yeah. I was contracted job. to do that job. Mm -hmm. So it's not like I couldn't. I, I just feel that let me just mind so my So that's another part of it. So we that what do we do? We, we, we always it. just keep it quiet yes. and just move on. We hear about it and we don't talk about it. We share it with our friends and everybody is trying to protect because if I report, if I join you to report your harassment, I might, both, all, both of us will face the well. issue where we have a university that is firing, is um, expelling someone and the entire, everybody is saying that it's because the, this man was vocal against the government. So we cannot have the institution stronger than the individual mm. they are supposed to protect, mm. which is what is around us so right now. So for me, um, we've, come to a point where we, as women, we objectify ourselves. You know, I had this, yes, I had this conversation with somebody. I say, it's men that are objectifying women. I say, no, you, that you go on online and decide to show your body. And somebody calls you and you say it's the person that is objectifying you. You that on your own, you know that I want to have this favor, but this is the way I want to go about it. I don't want to use my head. No, else. no, 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 no. I'm just trying to, that is what is happening in the society. Yeah, but so are you we're saying exchange is more, mm, wait now. There are, there's a mindset of certain girls in the university who feel I can't, I don't have power to read. I can just go and give it to him and pass this course. Mm. We had people like but that. But if the school does not allow well, it, yes, that's you'll what be I'm forced saying. to read so or drop out. We are talking about what so we're doing to, to, to raise the girls and the boys. Okay. We, are, we, are, we are getting somewhere. How do we now raise the girls and the boys? You need to tell them that you have to work, earn what you have. Mm. So you don't say, because I can do this, I want to use my body to get this. Yes. It's a mindset that has to be broken. A lot of young women have that mindset today. But some people are misunderstood. I like to look sexy. I like to look... I'm not passing a message that I'm I want you to come and uh, to come and uh, take over my body. Okay. There's somebody will pay you now to she come and do that. Thing. To. We'll now start harassing the person for paying oh, you. Yeah, like the person is objectifying no. you. you. Meanwhile, you have shown your no. own ah, by yourself. No, no, no. I, 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 I totally no. agree with yourself. Let me give you an example. I remember this one in school. I went to ABU Zaria. Okay. I remember this girl in the engineering department who said to us that she had first she was just a regular person dressed in her shirt and her trousers. Okay. She came one um um, yeah, she was. She became a full hijabite. She said she did that because she was protecting herself. There was this lecturer that just kept harassing her. Mm. With that full hijabite, it did not save her. Eddie. The man said, "I already know who you are, and this is what I've I want." I already see what it I want to see. It is not about your dressing. No, I'm not saying that. It is not that. about your clothing. I'm not saying that. The only thing, yes, the only thing is that I do believe that we need to empower our girls yes. on what to do 
when they yeah. find themselves in the and, situation. And also to because be we've, yeah, somewhat. Yeah, we've, yes, because, see, this is not about modesty, because we know modest girls have been harassed. Yes. Yeah. Okay, we know that. Call. Uh, I think get I have a spy call. camera. Good one, are you there? <laughs> get evidence. Shore, thanks for calling. I hope it's not this. Shore. Uh, uh, Shore. Uh, I hope it is. <laughs> Shore, Shore. <laughs> no, no, Shore. 90 days, Shore. Hello, thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Okay, I want to contribute to the issue of the uh, you are live. Go ahead, please. Okay, okay. Uh, I will say that uh, the issue of uh, the harassment in the university, you know, the issue of the I'm having trouble hearing you, Shore. of the public and, you know, the injustice and the clear evidence, you know, there's a clear evidence that this might have I can't hear you, Shuri. I'm sorry. I have to cut that line off. Yes, take yeah. the tweet, tweet, please. Yes, so Ikeju Wandu says, it's very annoying that people are saying that there is no punishment for sexual harassment. Sexual harassment by lecturers is a breach of public trust and is punishable. Um, Andrew Instrutam is saying, we're not talking about 16, 17-year-olds. <laughs> Those ones are kids. We're talking about 21-year-old woman in part four, or Jean Masters, and she likes the lecturer. Yes, the lecturer can control himself, but the lecturer is single and the female is single. That's that, a different that was, case. That was the part I was talking about earlier. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So is it yeah, that's yes, why in a relationship. Yeah. So is it, is it right for a cons an adult, a 21-year-old undergrad, to actually date her lecturer? Uh, is that a bad thing? If the lecturer is single, it's fine. No, the no, lecturer no. should wait till she, she, she graduates. Out of school. So that oh, there's no conflict of interest. Yes, that's, that's it. That's the true. lecturer can that's wait. True. And, and there are many stories in the developed world where lecturers actually wait till the girl finishes and they now date and get married. Right. So okay, more control to yourself Nanjit during the period. says, boys also go through this. It has happened to someone I know. His female lecturer insists that she sleeps with him for good grades. He refused and failed her, her mm. course severally. Debris said it's happening and it's sad that leaders are even backing some lecturers up. A friend of mine was rusticated at Unilag after sus being suspended from lecturers for two semesters because he's writing about lecturers who engage in sex for grade. His name is Femi Adeye. I have this tweet. This person... Um, took a screenshot of another tweet. He says, it's happening and it's sad. Our leaders are even backing some lecturers up. A friend of mine was rusticated in uni, like suspended from lectures for two semesters. That, and then the tweet that he took says, one of my lecturers was caught sex for grades in 2006 and was sacked immediately. But today, Hello. the lecturer is in the House of Reps ah. under APC. Hello. Thanks for calling. I think the call came in. Are you there? Yeah. Go ahead, please. By three different lecturers when I was in the university. Mm -hmm. Three female. Uh, I've uh, never heard of that. Lecturers. Before. I have. Go ahead, sir. I didn't Goodness. Think with that, but Are you still there? Yes, I'm still here. Yes, we can go ahead. We'd like to go ahead. Okay, I was seduced by three female lecturers when I was in the university in the state, in the United States of America. Okay. Mm -hmm. Two uh, um, Afro Black Americans and one white. Okay. So, uh, as a matter of fact, they did not actually uh, fail me, uh, but I knew I passed uh, their subjects, but I was sexually harassed. Hmm. So, what did you do about it? How about that? I didn't do anything. I just smiled, I know, and I walked away because Yay. I knew that deep inside me that I have done the right thing. They can't and then, do anything. Uh, you know, who am I going to report to? Okay. So, you know, I just walked away. Mm. Okay. I'm a first-time caller, by the Thank way. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. <laughs> Thank you very much, Kendi. All right. Yes. So, I would like to go back to the tweet you just read. There was something that caught me. The person <laughs> is in national. National. Yes, but no names were the mentioned. No names, yes. Sure. Well, you see, it's interesting that when we hear or see documentaries like these, that's when the National Assembly stands up and starts saying, and we have shocked. to review the law, the bill. This, you know, everybody's not talking about it, and they're not raising so committees to discuss what we already know. Mm -hmm. Reactive. I mean, I've talked about it on this table several times, and that the person that almost read it was a senator. I mentioned it yeah. when I was in Abuja, when I was young. He was a senator. I didn't know what state he was from. So that's why the, so, the laws cannot change to favor us, yeah. because the law currently favors them. The lack of implementation of the law favors men, okay. and we have more men representing everybody. So that, that's something we'd have really to do. We need a mindset change, Nip Tokwe. Yeah. Yes. Proper mindset of the teachers, yeah. Yeah. of people who are uh, supposed to be of men in authority, of I mean, women in authority. Yeah. We need you know, mindset Mariah, change you, you, you had mentioned that, um, oh, I missed it. You were saying something about it has to do with parenting. You know, the last time I was here, um, I was saying that. Um, for where? For where? 
uh, praise for all I was here, I was saying that sometimes you bring up your child in a certain way, but then he goes out into the society mm -hmm. and the he society sees and then the society influences. accepts some things, so it influences him. So especially when it comes to how men behave or what men think their rights are when it comes to women and their bodies, I feel sometimes not even from the home, it's just that when you go outside, there just seems that thing in our society generally society. that would say to a boy who has been um, grown a certain way, groomed a certain way, say, oh, you're a man now, why are you not acting like a man? All of a sudden, a boy who wants to keep himself until he's married is being laughed at by uh, fellow men mm. for being a virgin. Yeah. He's being laughed at for not taking advantage of a vulnerable person yeah. because he's not man enough. Right. So the home would treat you a certain way. The society just it, has gone haywire. If they, they, they drum it well into your brain, mm. you will no, never no, no, forget. No, we're not saying that yeah. you, would, but we're saying that the society... The society, yeah, the society's it. voice is strong, but yeah. that's why parenting must ensure that the, the voice of the parent is stronger in the heart of the child. I, I was in school when Aristo was like the norm, mm -hmm. and I knew I wanted to live the life, but I could never forget all my mom had said into my ears. The like it was, it was ringing. Yeah. When I see the opportunity, I just remember that my mom, would, hey, mom hey, would, hey, hey, my mom, even call. till now, my mm -hmm. mom would still mm -hmm. <laughs> be ringing. Nicole, are you there? Head. Thanks for calling. Yes. Go ahead, please. Good morning. Good morning. 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 My first time was calling. Welcome to the show, Nicole. Hi. And uh, thank you. Okay, I just want to say something. When I was in school, I remember one particular lecturer who tells you never you wear anything that will expose your, your body to the class. Mm -hmm. And he tells you immediately you enter this class and you dress it, he will tell you stop. But other lecturers, so I feel it is personal. Mm -hmm. If they want to do it to molest, then I think it is it is it is personal. Because for that lecturer to be avoiding because the man causes but you can't even sort him. Mm. You can't hey. sort him. He will mm. tell you if you want to sort him, you get him a lunch. And you can't afford a lunch as a student. Mm. Mm. Yeah. So, so he tells you, you if him. you want to pass my course, you read. Exactly. So I think most lecturers that do that, they want to do it. Right, mm. exactly. It's, well, we can't it, leave it to the it, discretion it's, it's of the lecturer to decide whether he wants to do it or not. The society conforms you to live within its rules. Okay. So we can't say that some lecturers can do it. Um, I can decide that I want to st stand on this place naked now, but the society I'm living in, this TVC will not allow me to do that. So mm -hmm. we can't let lecturers at their own discretion decide not to um, um, abuse even, children. Even, even in churches, uh, they don't allow, like, People that if you're shortly, if you're skimpily dressed, you can't stay, stay in front. front. Yeah, for, it's for a reason. So the, this tweet here caught me. It says um, Ayo Emmanuel says, "Who will the students report to?" Mm -hmm. So the committee members that do the same. Mm. Mm. My the advice: of the students come on social media and call the so-called lecturers Get out. Get Now, because camp. the people you are reporting to, they have a mm. click. They are maybe thank the VC is even the chief that they bring the let finest me, let me, girls let me, to. Let me thank that Twitter Which for that because. I think the, the big brother that just ended also opened my mind to realize that the power really is in here. Yeah. Mm. Social this media. power, social, social media. media. People, the, the, 30, the 37 million people that voted for mm. Mercy, mm. or maybe some, whatever, I mean, how many times. But this really is the power you have. Yeah. So, yes, you might not want to report to your lecturer, to a committee, but well, you can here, tweet it. Name them. And name them. Name them. And be out. See, and because if you don't, don't begin to do this, Trust me, but the problem is that if we open this floodgate, yes, that's others that's might that's actually that. begin to implicate yeah. innocent yeah, lecturers. Because also, mm. no, no, no. Get evidence. Get evidence. Get evidence. Get evidence. We will not just take your word. It's not a me too yeah. movement of no. you just um, no. using your words to now implicate somebody I'll else without proof. I'll come to you, Mary. Let's take Dara. Dara is still holding. Dara, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Thanks for get calling. Go ahead, please. Okay, um, <laughs> I'm a student. I just want to say my own experience. Yes. Okay. When I was in MD, one of my lecturers, I'm this type of person that I'm very, I don't expose my body. My friends call me Mommy Gio in class. Right. So, but there was this particular lecturer, he just picked on me and said he just wanted to have his way. So I tried to, I started dodging him and all and all. Then there was a particular day he saw me and just tried to pick me up. And next he started saying that, why are you avoiding me? At least you're the one that will enjoy the sex. Jesus. So I was like, I'm sorry, sir, I'm sorry, sir. After he talked, he just told me to leave his car. And that was it. So totally was, inappropriate like, conversation. I avoided him. Uh, and it's not only for ladies, even for guys, my friends, the lecturers tell them to go and um, spoil his car, wash his car, do all those things. So. <laughs> I just want to share my own experience. Thank yeah, you thank so much you. for sharing. You know, you know what is sad about this? 
the sorry sir we still even apologize for being harassed we apologize for being assaulted they have put us in such a position where we're so weak we dare not speak up we dare not be strong we dare not be confident mm. and that is what we need to break with our voice confident mm. and that is what we need to break with our voice mm. you said something about social media i understand the power that it has but i also understand the power that it has to bully because mm -hmm. if people have come they've used the social media and then you have um bullying voices even louder mm -hmm. you know yeah. breaking you Kicking down body has that been is why yes she's i been think threatened so yeah so it's yes. important that women you know we we, we form communities we form groups where other. younger ones can come and uh, talk to us and then we should be strong for them I hear we should that. hold they their they hands and do something you're right women should come together but sometimes mm. these women groups are also at yeah. the mercy of, of the, the laws men. they have mm. yeah. so we form this huge alliance and there's still so much yeah, look at um uh, mirabel center mm. they are burdened we need more of that mm. so there's just so much we need, it, to, we need to we need to solve it from that point of the national assembly yes mm. the leaders we get must yeah, change so the laws we must vote enforce. women up there that will be able to change it but mariah we need to inform people that some conversations you should never be having you can't be asking me about my sexual experience that is my that, teacher, that, that is that's an a inappropriate flag. conversation and, and as parents as Older people, we need to mentor our younger ones yeah. to understand there are some conversations that if they say it, it's a flag. Mm -hmm. And you tell the person, sir, you have no right to ask me about my, my experience. Please don't ask me such questions. They are yeah. inappropriate so that you are able to, yeah. they are bold enough to have that kind of conversation. Okay, let me take this call. Shola, are you there? <coughs> yeah, I'm there. Thanks for calling. Go ahead, please. Uh, hi, Moriah. Yes, you're live. Hello. I'm at, I'm, uh, yeah, hello. I'm actually an alumnus of the University of Lagos myself. Okay. okay. And um, you know, I just wanna, I wanna, I wanna, hello. You are live. Please go ahead. Okay. I, I'm, I'm disappointed in so many people who say they don't know about the grand stuff <laughs> like that. <laughs> you know. Uh, even me myself. I, I, I actually suffered something of sorts right. when I was in school in Unilab. Hmm. Even the lecturers that are not part of this know it's going on. Right. And they just keep quiet. And they just everybody, look the other way. Every, every, everybody is guilty of this. Even the educational system in Nigeria is flawed. Right. You know? Thank you very and, much for that. So, so now that we have this one lecturer yeah. from this one university, mm -hmm. What can we do to leverage on this information such that we can use this yeah. as that scapegoat yes. case study yes, yes. to ensure this doesn't happen? So I, what, how do we hold Unilag responsible? Yeah. How do we hold this lecturer responsible yes. for what I, they have I, done? I think it's a collective responsibility for everybody, whether you're involved in it or not, whether your kids are in the school or not. When you see something going wrong, even if, if it's a when colleague who's involved, something. talk about it. So I, I also believe that the media will still keep following up on this case you know try as much as possible to see how we can really make him a scapegoat because the thing is when you set an example one person right. others will fall in line mm -hmm. the ones who are stubborn enough to continue they know that Sorry, now let me ask you a final question yeah. what is the example they should do is it castrate is it ah. jail no that's it's not rape now this one that's castration is for rape yeah, it doesn't matter yeah. 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 you should be prosecuted not to say, get two years and it will be back, back. So what exactly yeah, because what was that actually do? So no. what, 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 what do you what think? Feel, what do the Nigerians think is appropriate for yeah. people like that? Because he wasn't caught sexually molesting yeah. someone. What we found out was that they sexually harass people. Yeah. And that means he's prone to doing it because he said we have a cold room yeah. where we do this. He shouldn't be, he sh his job should not allow him have the influence over children or, or young adults yeah. anymore. Mm -hmm. So that's the, that, that's, that's the punishment mm -hmm. that would be appropriate for someone who has is been found out to be unable to control himself around mm. urges. his urges. So is that you cannot be a lecturer anymore. Sorry, Blacklisted. you are no longer allowed to lecture in any university anymore. Maybe you write a book, maybe you do anything, mm -hmm. but you will not have access to, to pray or, or on young ones. Your anymore. name will be on the sexual yeah. offenders yeah. list. Yes. I think they should wear a bracelet that says, I'm going <laughs> to keep up, yeah. keep, yeah. keep up. But, but, but I just I wanted, to you know something people. came to mind? I remember in school where people complained about male lecturers, and I've always wondered even then, the female lecturers that were not, weren't they aware of what their colleagues were doing? They know. Couldn't they have helped? Spoken. They all know. Yeah, it's a conspiracy know. of silence. Yes. Mm. Unfortunately, that's all we have to, to We have to run up on this. But um, mm. once again, I'm happy that the church finally um, sacked him, I believe. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Unilag is Suspended. investigating what we already know. Hopefully, after their investigation, 
We'll hear Maybe what they come do. and give us a news story that, oh, it was his cousin that was actually doing the thing. <laughs> Whatever. But that's all we can take. Thank you very much, ladies, uh, for joining on the show. All right, that's all we can take. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a fabulous day. Bye-bye.